guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. How you guys going today? Another little short whip and chat to say hello, how you doing, how's your day? Um, yeah, today, uh, Monday the, what's, what is today's date? The 18th of May. First day shift back, so I've got one day to go, what, two nights to go, and then I've got five days off. So, sometimes the roster is hard, but sometimes this is actually the easy one where there's only two days and two nights. So it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, now, some of the comments I've had, <laughs> Pippa <laughs> asked about my nails, how I managed to work with them so long. Uh, I don't do much in the way of manual labour and actually here we go, here's a close up, look at how bad they are. I can't get to a um, nail beautician, uh, for, uh, we don't think they'll be open for another three more weeks. I went to work uh, talking with one of, the, one of the other ladies there who gets her nails done. The last time I saw her, which was probably about two weeks ago, she turned around and said, oh, how are your nails going? And I bragged saying how good my nails were going. Um, then I got to work today and I turned around and said, oh, how are your nails going? And she's like, they're all off. So all of her nails are now off. Um, close up, they look. They look horrible close up. That's actually looks like I've bruised my finger. So yeah, probably have. That's what it is. Um, but so I bragged to her saying, well, I still have nine of my ten. I'd lost <laughs> my little finger. That looks horrible, doesn't it? Um, and then um, off I went to grab my cuppa. Less than five minutes after saying how much my nails were, were good and staying on and I'm trying to do what I can to keep them. I lost another one. <laughs> yeah. That one thankfully came off and it didn't break the nail. That one, the nail went with it. Uh, that was a horrible one when that came off. That one hurt. Uh, so yeah, my nails are now dying. So excuse the state of my nails. However, tonight, when I finish here, hang on, I've got to reach and grab it. I put them all on here. Well, I think I put them all on here. Hang on a sec. Oh, there they are. I went to, whoops, I went to the um, chemist today, trying to get fake nails, and they've all sold out. I went to three chemists, and they'd all sold out of fake nails. So, I went to Target, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Target, I don't know whether you, or more than minutes of the store, you get clothes, makeup, uh, accessories, household accessories, um, just small ones, so I don't know what type of store you'd compare it to in, um, in the US. But, um, so you buy like all the women's clothing, you can buy men's clothing, kids' clothing. Um, yeah, I won't go into it any further. And so I have managed to find a pack of 100 artificial nails with the adhesive. I didn't read that. I really, now I know it's got the adhesive. Okay. I have turned around and gotten some nail polish. <laughs> Uh, so that's just a skin tone. I have gotten a white. I have gotten a black. So guess what? Who's going to be trying to do their own designs onto these fake nails? And got an interesting looking blue. C in the dark, as in S-E-A. Uh, so... Tonight I'm going to be removing my nails and uh, depending on how they go, whether I put these on tonight <laughs> or tomorrow when I just give my fingers a little bit of breathing space for, for a night, we'll see. So that will be my attempt. Um, yeah. 
and I'm here going, do I film it or don't I film it? I suppose I could remove my nails on camera and just record it. <laughs> and then if it all goes tits up, <laughs> excuse the language, but if it, if it, if I fail, um, well, that can just end up in the recycle bin and get ditched. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, the nail art I will do before the nails actually go onto my finger because uh, I will need to do the art with one hand. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But that's where we're at with that. Um, I did... Oh, I got... <laughs> Hang on, I'll see if I can find it. I... I took a couple of pictures in, I will pop it just here, in our lifts. They now, uh, yeah, that's a mirror there. They now have footprints on all four corners. So that's actually the reflection. That's my feet there. Um, so there's all four, four corners of the lift. They actually have foot, footsteps. So that's where, you, where you're supposed to stand when you're in the lift. <laughs> yeah, there's some interesting stuff going on. You walk out of the lifts and we've got these little spots. Yeah, and that's just me walking through the security. Got a tag out. Not showing you much of the building. It's just a privacy thing. I can get in the poop for showing you too much. Whereas this is not identifying anything. But yeah, they have these little... Where are they? Dots at the outside the uh, security thing saying, you know, this is where you have to stand while you're waiting for people to go through. Um, but yeah, that was just a little, little bit of something to share with my day. I did, um, I did go for a walk around the city. There's, it's a little bit busier today. Uh, just a little bit busier. There were some shops open, um, shop closest, one of the closest coffee shops to us that have, has been shut. I grabbed a latte today and the the bar barista turned around and he says, oh, is it all back to normal for work for you? Are people coming back? And I've turned around and I've just looked at him and I said, um, my job's 24-7. Well, I didn't stop working. And he went, oh, okay. I've just had two months off. <laughs> like, oh, shut up. Um, yeah, but highly likely his two months off he probably didn't get paid for. Who knows? Um, but, yeah. So things are starting to slowly come back. They have coding at the moment for the building. There's two codes. There's orange and there's green. And depending on what colour you are, so they've all the teams are divided up into two colours. So one's green, one's orange. And depending on your colour, on whether you come into the office to work from the office or whether you still work from home. So I think for this week it's team green, next week it's team orange. So, so that uh, it makes it fair on everybody else. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, we've gone... I keep hitting that camera, sorry guys. Uh, once we've gone two weeks uh, with the lift of the restrictions, so what they're doing is three, they're saying the roadmap for us getting back to being as close to normal as we'll ever be is um, three weeks to our next change for more, more well, freedom, more well, less restrictions is probably the best way to put it. Three weeks for less restrictions. But it is in two weeks' time that we'll find out whether we're able to go to the next level or whether um, COVID is still out there and just because people haven't been out, uh, it's um, <clears throat> not gone anywhere. I don't know how best way to put it. But very much like, you know, like we're, we're getting told, treat it very much like, um, was it the Spanish flu? Spanish flu killed um, the first wave 
wiped out so many of the population and the second wave actually wiped out about five times the amount as the first wave because, um, yeah, that was when people dropped all caution and went, oh, well, it's all gone, we're all good, basically. So it's all now waiting to see whether the second wave hits us and how. Uh, we've seen other countries that have done the restrictions uh, like Singapore. Singapore did really well. They flattened their curve and then um, lifted their restrictions and their second wave is not good. But yeah, yeah that's about it. Nothing else is exciting, quiet. I'm going to Obviously, I won't be doing much more of this. I'm just doing this one one letter, the capital M. Can you see any? Oh, I spotted one. I just looked up at the camera. Looked up at the screen. Hang on, looking, looking, looking. Yeah, so my next tackle. There we go. I did see it from a couple more. My next tackle is to actually remove my nails and then... Uh, put fresh ones on or maybe not put fresh ones on we'll see how we go but that is my next thing to do I'll say bye for now and uh, have a good day and I'll talk to you next time bye for now <laughs>